with some of these fighters, man. But these battles are built different. They're built different. And I'm talking through experience. Man, with most tables like this, and you're crying over a little chingadera like this? Come on, Mato, really? You feel shit yourself. You give up your belt because you don't want to get knocked down. At least go out on your shield. That's some balls, bro. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. You're embarrassing. Embarrassing to call yourself a champion. Unbelievable. You're in the wrong profession. You want to keep Those are the words of <clears throat> Mr. Fernando El Feroz Vargas as he blasts Billy Joe for quitting round eight on the stool. And let me counterpunch. You remember the video that I made on um, Caleb Plant and... I explained to you guys that the only people, <clears throat> the only people that can criticize Billy Joe are the people that had similar injuries or that had that particular injury, right? Okay, well, as you can see, Fernando Vargas' eye looked like an alien. I mean, look, look at this guy's eye. And I believe this was the first or second Mosley fight. Okay, I think um, if my memory serves me right, I think this was the uh, Mosley fight where they did stop it. Okay, and it looks grotesque. You know, it, it's one of the worst swells. I think Eric Morales had one probably as, or not as bad, but, you know, run for the money with that. But it looked severely bad, you know, and I, I look at, <clears throat> those type of fighters or should I say these type of fighters that took these type of injuries and kept going okay um, and I they stopped it in the 6th well no it was a TKO in the 10th or the 6th depending on which one that was but like I said, it depends on those particular guys that made the decision to stop the fight. Now, was Billy Joe alone? No, he wasn't alone. Daniel Dubois did something similar, you know, um, because of an eye injury. Kel Brook did something similar because of an eye injury. Antonio Margarito did not. Okay. He did not do, he did not quit. Um, they stopped the second Cotto fight, right? Because the eye was just too bad. It had swole. But that was due to an injury with Manny Pacquiao. All the excessive punching to that one eye. That right eye, I believe, on uh, Fernando Vargas. I mean, sorry, on my, Antonio Margarito caused him to stop it. <clears throat> but back to Vargas. Vargas is blasting Billy Joe for like, hey, you only had a small little pinch under your eye. You know, and then for all we know, you could still see out of it. Now, there's a such thing as swelling, excessive swelling, and having a broke orbital bone. So we got to keep it real. You know, no, he could not see out of that eye. Um, but Fernando Vargas, if my memory serves me right, I never seen him with a broken orbital bone either. Okay, so... You can't say, oh, well, this is what I should have did, would have, could have done. The only person that can say that and kept going was um, Antonio Margarito. And in fact, Antonio Margarito really didn't know his eye was broken until the fight was over. You know, and then they just, you know, took that for cash value in other fights like Hellbrook. Or, uh, well, you know, they stopped the fight. Um, <clears throat> they threw in the towel for Kelbrook. He quit against Errol Spence. Billy Joe quit on the stool because, like, hey, he's having pain in the eye and he couldn't really see. 
Okay, well, you know, everyone is going to have a different opinion on how they conduct the livelihood of their fighters. You know, uh, obviously, Mexican fighters are a little tough. They don't want to, they want to go out on their shield. They want to go to the final bell. They want to perhaps get that last lucky shot in or go get toe-to-toe -to -toe and get carried out of the ring. They'd rather do that than quit. I get it. Vargas, uh, Margarito, and in fact, go figure, they, they used to um, train up in Oxnard together. So they probably was born and bred or trained with the same mentality, right? But... But to be fair, though, they, you know, they have a different set of principles um, of morals, but there's nothing wrong with deciding to quit or keep going. I mean, that's up to you because we we watch these fighters put their life, their health and everything else on the line, you know, except their pocketbook. That's the only thing they don't put on the line. I mean, they're they're receiving money. But at the end of the day. Everything else is, is, is subtracting from them when they get into the ring. Unless they had a fairly easy nighter and they're just that good, right? Like certain fighters of small percentage of fighters. But one thing I don't like is, and this is what gets Billy Joe in trouble. <clears throat> don't talk about it if you're not going to be about it. That was the only thing about Billy Joe. Now, if Billy Joe would have, well, hey, yeah, you know... Um, I know there's injuries, I know there's this, I know there's that, but hey, let me get carried out of the ring, you know, and then you criticize other people. Well, this is expected to happen to you, okay? This is, these are the type of things that's, that's going to happen because you are the guy that was on that side of the fence saying, hey, you should never quit, no retreat, no surrender, no retreat, no surrender, but you're blasting someone else for quitting and then you quit on your stool. And then if you look again, I don't care if Mark Tibbs stopped the fight. He had to be in agreement with Billy Joe to say, yo, let's call it a day. Okay, he's a head trainer and all that, but still, you know, you didn't see Billy Joe like Vitaly, did you? No, 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 no. You didn't see any of that. So Fernando Vargas, he's saying that because he's claiming, hey, he comes from a different time. Maybe so. Maybe he does come from a different time, but I can tell you this. In this day and age, in 2019, we had four, five, four boxers pass, die after receiving injury in the ring. And I think that the precautionary measures that people do now are helping people or by, uh, boxers survive certain injuries in the ring. And I believe that. So am I against Billy Joe stopping or, or not or, or discontinuing to fight? No, but I am for him saying what you shouldn't do. And then he goes back and does the same thing. It's hypocritical. So stop it. Knock it off. That's my counterpunch on that, guys. You guys tell me what you think about Fernando Vargas blasting Billy Joe Saunders, saying that he's not a man. Is He's an embarrassment. Tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched.